Summoners Rift Map Skins. The Forbidden Fruit Rat doesn't want to touch and make a lot of profit out of for some reason. We checked some fan-made mods that let you change the rift before and recently I've made a video about the new Winter Rift that you can use right now. But this time let's take a look at 5 more cool fan-made concepts for what the rift could look like if it got seasonal updates or map skins for other regions. But before we begin, speaking of fan-created content, this video is sponsored by Yahaha. Yahaha is a new user-generated content creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experiences. With it, anyone can create and publish their virtual experiences without coding experience or server knowledge. Simply use the free provided features, components and assets in the studio to make your idea of a game come true. They also have live events on Twitch for the community to help creators build up their skills as well as videos that teach you more on YouTube. Here's a quick demo. I went in the studio and selected a template that you can then edit at your will. Went into the asset library and picked the behavior player transformation component and a cat head asset and placed it into the game and gave it the component. Now I can start the playtest build of the game and the cat is in there and since this is a prop hunt mode I can turn it to the cat. There are a lot more templates and assets you can play around with or build up your own game mode from the ground up if you want to. So check out Yahaha for free if you want to get creative using my link in the description and now let's get into the map skins. Alright, first up, Piltover Rift. Now that we've seen it in Arcane 2, imagine how cool a full Piltover or Zone Rift would look like. Or even better, a half Piltover, half Zone map with the Piltover having beautiful, colorful and clean colors and buildings, while Zone having darker and having plagues and rats running around. Next up, a Shurima Desert Summoner's Rift. Those are two concepts made by two different people actually, one with the red buff area, with the map accents, and the other making a really cool Shurima fountain. Imagine an entire map in that style, with sand all over and Shuriman buildings and creatures. Anakin would hate it. Remember Nexus Blitz? Riot apparently doesn't. The mode that was promised to return this year but won't because of bugs apparently, and because they focused on doing three changes to Aram instead. But what if they used those nice assets that they made for it and made an entire map skin for Summoner's Rift in the style of Ionia. It would have looked fantastic, the trees and water and everything in that map looked amazing. Such a shame it didn't become a permanent mod and that they didn't use those assets again. Next up, the Killery again. The person that made the Winter Rift, he also did the Bilgewater Rift last year. Currently it is not working properly, but it was awesome. Similar to the Butcher's Bridge official map we had in Aram a few years ago, it really changes everything, from the water to the trees, and adding houses around, and all the jungle monsters too. Really high quality mod this was. And hopefully it will be fixed to work again soon. And yet another one by the Killery again, that is still a work in progress. Project Rift. That is also a complete overhaul mod of the entire map that changes everything in the style of project. Even has a damn new Project Baron model. Hopefully it will be completed soon, so show Killery some love if you want to see it done. And that's about it for now. Really a shame Riot doesn't want to do map skins, themed around various regions from Runeterra and we still play on a random mountain top that doesn't even exist in the lore. Let me know which one of those 5 is your favorite and what other region or skin theme would you like to see turned into a map skin next time and thanks for watching.